<laughs> What's up, Mavericks? How are we doing today? It's early in the morning, so I'm a little bit exhausted, but I'm freaking jacked. I've been following along on the tour the last few days. Myself and uh, you, the, the camera guy back behind Brian, right back behind me here, came and met up with Brennan of Do It Molds. And this is this whole tour basically, we are crafting our own tackle to go out and, and uh, catch fish on. So we're making all the baits that we're using or the large majority anyways, like this guy that we poured this dude last night. Now we're doing something totally different and I have no freaking idea if it's actually going to work or make a difference or anything, but I'm super interested and have been for a long time. And that is in this video, we're gonna test out and see if UV baits make a difference. So what I'm talking about is you can put ultraviolet um, additive to these soft plastic baits when you pour them that makes them reflect UV light and kind of glow. Now there's been a couple companies out there who have like coined their entire business off of the idea that bass can see ultraviolet rays. And while there's not like specific scientific data about that, um, that bass actually do, other fish have been known to see ultraviolet rays and see the reflections of them and whatnot. Supposedly, I'm not a scientist, or I kind of am, that's what my degree is in, I guess. I, I'm somewhat of, I'm not that kind of a scientist. But uh, today we're going to be pouring some of these baits with ultraviolet, and we're gonna test them against baits that are exactly the same, look exactly the same as guys like this, same color and everything, without the UV, and see if it makes a difference with the fish. So we're gonna get some poured up. If you guys watched the last video, we kind of went through the whole process of that. But we're gonna pour them up in here, we're gonna take them out on the boat, and we're gonna just kind of keep track of which one's working better. So hopefully do a little bit of an experiment. Let's do it. All right, so we got our molds all laid out in front of us here. I think we're gonna make flipping bait molds. We, we kind of figured out yesterday that they were on a really, really good flipping bite here. And so we're gonna kind of try to make this a really quick process. If you're not sure about the process of pouring your own soft plastic lures, watch the last video. I'll link it right up here so you guys can go watch that. Um, so we're just gonna kind of blow through this, but uh, we're gonna add UV additive, like I said, to the plastics. These are some of the guys we're gonna be making to flip with today. Um, so we got this beaver mold. You can kind of explain these guys right here. This is the cheap beaver mold that we caught fish on last night. Right. This is so, the essential series, right? This is the essential series. These are essentially half the price. Um, so a majority of our more popular styles of molds, we offer an essential series, which is a sand cast aluminum, rather than a CNC milled aluminum mold. So for those guys that are looking to get into it that, you know, maybe don't have the budget for it yet or just want to kind of dabble into it, see if it's for them, I would highly recommend these Essential Series molds because they're really cheap and, and, they, they, and they get the job. Yeah, they worked last night. All right, so I say we pour, let's pour kind of three different baits. I want to pour, this is like a big brush hog creature style mold. This is more of a beaver style one. We caught fish on that last night and that's the DD. Gill. That might be my personal favorite. I like that. That one worked really well last night, and I we think want, it might today. I do. I think so. We make more of like a green pumpkin color this time, just like a, a straight up green pumpkin. Water's really clean. Sun's really high today. Nope. No, no clouds in the sky today. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna flip those around. But let's let's get to making some of these. Let's get a bunch of UV blasted into them so they freaking glow. We're gonna show you on the black light the difference with and without. It's pretty freaking crazy. Let's do it. Time, time to make these things beauteous. We got the plastic poured in there. What are we doing for color? All right, we're gonna add some green pumpkin, like Ben said, stay natural today. Uh, super clear water, natural baits, and this right here is our UV additive. So we're gonna go ahead and add some UV blast to one of these, do the same amount of colorant in each one, and one of them's gonna have UV blast, so here we go. Blast it! Very precise. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> She's gonna glow. All right, in our color room. Blue sparkle. Let's do some blue sparkle. Yeah. Canadian blue. So here we go. We're gonna start with the UV blast first. UV blast green pumpkin going in. Ooh. 
All right, guys, we got the UV done. It looks awesome. We're gonna go ahead and shoot these up. We've got the plastic without UV cooking right now. When we get done with those, we're gonna go ahead and compare them. We'll see you guys up in the cabin under the black light in just a minute. All right, we just got back up in the house here. We got a bunch poured up with UV, without UV, a bunch of the same flipping baits. We're gonna go flip. So you guys can tell, let's put them over in the natural light. Very close in color. You can tell there's a slight like UV hue to these ones over here. Barely though. Yeah, not much of a difference, but, so you go ahead and put them over some UV light, and these are the non-UV. So, not really reflecting. Just kind of shimmering off the translucency of it. All right, and we'll take that same light and go over here and you can see there's quite the difference. So Blowing. whether or not a bass can determine the difference in the water, it's hard to say, but we're gonna try to find out today. Let's take this, let's just real quick, look at these right here, and once again, we'll go over, we'll just go straight over here into the light. Nothing. Glow? Nothing, glow, nothing, glow. It's crazy, let's go find out if they eat them. Water's clear, sun's high, no clouds. We made flipping baits. We made the right color flipping baits. It's time to go execute. Let's do it. Who's who's doing what, guys? I'll take a UV. I'll I'm, I'm doing a UV. Brian, you want to do a regular? I'll do a regular. Cool. Regular beef. I'll do a UV. I'll do a of beef. Beef of beef. Oof beef. And I'm gonna front end you so the UV one wins the challenge. They smell like <laughs> They do smell like anus. Go There's my U go. UV, yeah, that's a good call. Okay, so I'm fishing the UV beef. Brian's fishing regular beef. Brennan is fishing the UV DD gill. If you guys watched the video last night or yesterday, I don't even know when it was posted, a couple days ago. That one freaking whacked him. So did this one though too. So, uh, yeah, once again, that's what we're working with. If you guys can see it, ultra, ultra clear. Today we got a little wind though, which we like. That's gonna break up the surface clarity. And honestly, I think we'll get more bites today. Man, that UV in the water stands out like crazy. When it's out of the water, it just kinda looks see-through. You put it in there, it looks like bluish almost. Not a babe. What do you got, the DD Gill? Oh, oh God. What do we got here? A Ryan fish. It is. There's your catch and cook. A snake! You bet. Definitely not our target species today, but uh, UV's up one to nothing. We'll see how it goes. And it's delicious. Mixture of water. That's a good one. Better one. Uh oh. Uh -oh. uh oh, on the non UV, a non UV flipping beef. Papow, that's the same bait, dude. I think I pitched close to there with the same bait you're using, right? Yeah, it's kind of dilapidated now. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a little destroyed it's now after this guy, but <laughs> one to one kind of. I mean, we got a pike. That's the first bass of the day so far, though. On the non UV, I was going to switch all my plastics to UV until that just happened. <laughs> Chaz, like. Yeah, dude. I've actually done. Ooh. Ooh. That guy was hot. I've done pretty well on that. He'd probably bite you. There he goes. Yep. <laughs> Damn it. I drew that out. <laughs> but he did commit to the non UV when he wouldn't commit to the UV. That's my PB. Is oh, no. Your new PB. All right. Uh, non UV is up one and a half to one. <laughs> That's only a half. <laughs> You know, you can call for the net if you need it. Dude, you don't have to feel like you have one. to boat flip them. It gets dangerous that they'll break your line when they're that big. Like, <laughs> right to it and stop. 
I think he, the only reason he stopped is because it got uh, into the top of the water. Yep. And he's like, oh, I don't want to jump. But they're expensive they're as shit. Expensive and we own the market for like apple Oh, that might be a big. Oh, God. That's an improved quality one. Oh. <laughs> Can you get that? Yeah, I'll grab them for you, you Chief. Actually, grab the big camera. That fish has got it down its throat. Brian's hooked up with a tankosaur. That's a pretty solid one, man. <laughs> you don't one. got much line up. You know that, though. It's a long fish, too. Yeah, it is. Oh. Oh, hero. It's probably like three pounds, but we haven't caught one that big, so let's try it. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, that's a good one, dude. That's probably close to five. Hammered. Sick. You bet. <laughs> that is a freaking awesome fish. It is. Dude, nice work. Hammered in there in the shade. On. Finally. The probably. Non UV. Four and a quarter. Dude, Brian's fishing behind me. Non UV. Beaver. Damn. Good fish, man. Four and a quarter, probably. Good one. Yeah, I mean, we've just been like working our way back up this canal. I mean, the current's just ripping through here, but made the perfect cast right in between those docks as far back as I could get it. I mean, came right back behind you. And I mean, that thing didn't even hit the bottom of the thunk, but on that uh, beaver style, well, the non UV version. Non UV. So, I don't know. So far, uh, Brian's whooping me on the, the non UV style. So, we'll see. We're gonna keep we're gonna keep fishing. We're not going anytime soon. We're gonna do this for hours to see over time what the experimental is. And the good thing is, this is five lakes hooked together. So we're gonna see multiple different lakes with the experiment, what they want. So far three to one on the non and the one was a pike so let's keep fishing Yay. this is a fun experiment yes. i like being scientists it's fun <laughs> pike. pike you launch please don't break me up i like this project the old ski it's just a weird colored pike i think that's a musky no dude. it's not it's a pike bullshit it's a pike they get like that yeah, dude, he's choked it. I think it's a pike. Uh, we caught one like that last year, dude. They're super weird. I can't believe he didn't bite you off, dude. Look how he's got it. He still might, but lost the rod. <laughs> yeah, we caught a couple like that last year. Yeah, we're gonna have two in a live well now. Man, it's really light. Well, you know the only way to tell <laughs> if this is a pike is ask the experts on the internet. YouTube, so, YouTube experts will know. Comment down below. <laughs> he ate it. Hey, that's chalk one up for the UV team. Yeah. The pikes love the UV. That might, there might be something to that. We just came out on this flat, wind blowing on it. There's still grass, a lot of grass down there. So we're fishing swim jigs over the top. We kind of took a break from our flipping, but. Brennan had some of these UV trailers poured up from previously that he brought. So we're all using UV trailers. Brennan's throwing the chatterbait. Okay, here we go. So the tail fork pointed or rounded? It's rounded. Number of pores in the lower jaw, six to nine on a muskie and four to five on a pike. That's a pike then. That's, that's a pike. That's the actual way to tell, I forget. Yeah, yeah, no. so it's got what, four? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, I guess. Yeah, six to eight on a muskie. And again, one, two, three, four, five on a pike. It's just like, look at the coloration differences. This is insane. Both the same fish, both pike. That smells like a pike too. It doesn't smell like a muskie. <laughs> no, seriously. Lick him. Does it taste the same? <laughs> yeah, I like this in here. I've never fished this part. I bet there's current here with it coming through that tube there. Looks like a spot to me. Yeah. Looks like everything else. Oh. Yep. 
Come here, bud. Oh, God. Finally, a good one on the UV beam. <laughs> Dude, I'm jacked. That's not a giant, giant, but three and a half pounder. Looks big when it came up because we've caught a lot of like one and a half pounders, but the old beef getting her done. You bet. Sick. Get her back. At least we're catching the right kind today. Finally. Finally. Dude, that's one big one for the uh, the UV. Uh, first one we've caught. First bass we've caught in the UV. We've caught two pike. Started to think only pike ate the UV. They work. It's working. It. I like it. Okay, midday update. Been flipping docks um, quite a lot, and we haven't really noticed a difference in the amount of bites overall, I guess, with the UV and the non-UV, but I think Brian's had bites where the fish just thumped the hell out of it, and that's been on the non-UV. My bite was, or, and a lot of my bites have just been kind of the, the bait gets to the bottom in this grass next to the dock, and they're just barely grabbing onto it. I feel no tick, no thump, nothing. So. That's what's happening today with the conditions on that lake. Now, we're gonna change things up. We've caught a couple really nice fish. We're gonna go for some quality now. We're gonna fish some areas where some of the bigger females should be moving up and staging under some of these docks uh, and some grass and stuff like that. And hopefully we'll get another big one. Um, but we're going for big now at this point. I need some, uh, I need a new beef guy. New what? Could I get a new of beef, please? This guy is, uh, actually, you know what? I got one, I'm good. I think I'm good now. He just needed bit, bitten. Really good. Um, I don't know. I didn't pay for it. Yep. Nope. Well, uh, that was a fish. I think that was a fish. First stock on the UV guy. Does that count as a half fish? Another, chalk up another uh, point-ish, half point for a UV guy. Yep, that's him. I love that. This is the big leg, god damn it. They still, they keep hitting me in weird spots, man. But that's two UV bites. You get another half point. Two, another half point. I like it. Oh yeah, we're back at the uh, the Airbnb now. As you can see, right back behind us here. Um, pretty inconclusive test results, I think. This is the uh, we used the UV. We flipped with the non-UV. Brian was really whooping our our asses from the start on the on the non-UV for like three or four fish, and then I kind of started getting some more bites in the UV, and then the bite just completely freaking went away. They wouldn't eat anything, which uh, might be in correlation to them wanting to chase baits, eat a moving bait or whatever. But uh, regardless, super, super cool to see the differences under that black light. And maybe something I want to test, definitely something I want to test moving forward with like some muddier water, flipping baits, moving baits, stuff, like just different stuff. But uh, hopefully you guys liked the video. If you, uh, if you did like the video, I'd love if you hit the subscribe button because guess what? This afternoon, this evening, we're going out to do some more DIY make your bait stuff with the do-it molds. We're going to link all the do-it molds products that we used in this video down below as well as the catalog if you guys want to check out how to make plastics, how to make lead baits, any other type of hooks, your own stuff. Just go check out that catalog right down below. I'll link it right down there so you can check that out. And uh, yeah, be watching the next couple days. We're going to go do some fishing, uh, a totally different type of fishing this afternoon, this evening. Should be a damn good time, but thanks so much for watching. Freaking out of here. Peace. I'm not sorry. I can't help this love like mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sorry. I can't stop with a love like mine.